But we do move on now to that gruesome new attack from ISIS, the race to save the lives of two Japanese hostages lost tonight. The terror group saying it beheaded one of the men, that is him right there, and now the desperate countdown to save the other. President Obama just a short time ago confirming and condemning the brutal murder. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has the story. U.S. and Japanese officials tonight are condemning what appears to be the latest example of the cruelty and barbarity of ISIS. One of two Japanese hostages, television journalist Kenji Goto, forced to hold a photo of what appears to be his beheaded cellmate and then read a plea for his own life, asking for a prisoner swap instead of the original $200 million ransom demand. They are being fair. They no longer want money. So you don't need to worry about funding terrorists. In Japan, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe demanded the hostage's immediate release, calling the video an outrageous and unforgivable act. Goto's mother said today her son sounded extremely nervous and added, this is no time to be optimistic. Today's ISIS video was substantially different than previous such videos, without the usual high production techniques and no appearance of the mass executioner known as Jihadi John. But still no less gruesome with this hostage forced to beg for his life. We're going to be working closely with the Japanese along with the Europeans and this is a, this is a team effort uh, among all of those nations to uh, find these uh, individuals. The prisoner ISIS is demanding be freed, Sajida Rishawi, is a failed suicide bomber on death row in Jordan, who Islamist groups have tried and failed several times before to free. She was part of an attack on a Jordanian hotel 10 years ago that killed at least 60 people attending a wedding. Jordanian King Abdullah has repeatedly refused to free her, although he has put her execution on hold. President Obama acknowledged the death of the Japanese hostage today in a statement issued as he was traveling to India on Air Force One. The president said, the U.S. stands shoulder to shoulder with Japan, and we will work together to bring what he called the perpetrators of these murders to justice. Brian Ross, strong words from the president tonight. Thank you very much.